Welcome back, boys and girls. I'm so excited to be talking to you about this strategy called decomposition. We're going to be decomposing numbers, okay? And we're going to try to make our life easier by trying to make it into a 10 at the very end, okay? So here, let's look at number one. And remember, we're on page 67 of your first grade hybrid math workbook. And we're going to do these sample problems together so that you can feel more comfortable, okay? So here we have 19 minus 11. Well, I know in order for this 19 to become a 10, I have to subtract it by 9. So here, this 9 minus 2, that's the 11 piece right there, okay? And we know that 19 minus 9 is 10. So 10 minus 2 is 8, okay? And 19 minus 11 is 8, and that's also equal to 8. Now let's take a look at the next one. 19 minus 15. I'm going to decompose this number to find a 10, okay, to subtract this 19 from. So that's going to be a 9. So what's left over? 6. So 19 minus 9 is 10 minus 6. So 10 minus 6 is 4. 19 minus 15 is 4. 19 minus 9 minus 6 is also 4. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at number three. Here we have 18 minus 9. I want to make this, I, I want to be able to make this a 10. So 18 minus 8 is 10, I know that. So the 8 and the 1 is going to be a 9. Okay, so I'm going to decompose that. That's going to be a 10 there. And now 10 minus 1 equals 9. 18 minus 9 equals 9. And 18 minus 8 minus 1 also equals 9, as a matter of fact. Now let's take a look at number 4. Here we have 18 minus 14. Well, again, if I want to, if I want to get a 10, then I'm going to have to subtract it by 8. Okay? So here, we're going to have an 8 and a 6. So 18 minus 8 equals 10. The 8 and the 6 came from the 14. 10 minus 6 is 4. Okay? Now let's take a look at number 5. Here we have 17 minus 8 equals... I want to get a 10, so I know that 17 minus 7 is 10. This piece here, that's going to be 10. And in order to make this a 7, it's going to be a 7 and a 1. That's equal to 8. So 10 minus 1 equals 9. And 17 minus 8 equals 9. And 17 minus 7 minus 1 also equals 9. And finally, let's do the last one, number 6. Here we have 17 minus 15. Well, in order to get a 10... I know that 17 minus 7 is 10. If I decompose this number, it's going to be a 7 and an 8. So now I have 10 minus 8 equals 2. 17 minus 15 equals 2. 17 minus 7 minus 8 more is going to be equal to 2 as well. Okay, boys and girls? So go ahead and practice sets 1 and 2. And we're going to see you very, very soon at the next section. Take care, boys and girls. Bye-bye.